Hello there, I'm Albert Alvarez, a broker and realtor with the Ally Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'm on location at Crestwind Wesley Chapel, a new gated 55 plus community in Monroe, North Carolina. I'll be taking you on a tour of the wonderful models here, which were just recently opened. Next, we'll be taking a look at the Madison. So stick with me as we go through. So here is the Madison, and as you can see, it's got the stone accent. This particular elevation is elevation BS, S standing for the stone. There are nine elevations offered with this floor plan, as well as with each of the floor plans available at Crestman Wesley Chapel. One thing I will point out, as you can see from the yellow sign here, yellow being how Coulter Homes designates the type of collection. Yellow is the Carson Collection. So this is actually the largest floor plan in the Carson Collection. It's got 2,200 square feet on a single level, three beds, three baths, and a two-car garage. Let's have a look inside. So inside the Madison, we can see it's got a nice wide entrance, about five foot wide entrance. Uh, right here, you can get a look at a few of the key features that Coulter Homes offers. One is being high ceilings, Entryways always seem to have a tray ceiling. This particular one has some wallpaper inside the tray, but uh, you can get a sense of uh, 10 foot ceilings throughout the home. The doors and portals are all eight foot. As we enter, we'll see to the right, a full bath, very nice treatment throughout. Uh, a couple of closets here. I don't think I need to open. One is a linen closet, the other is just a coat closet. There is a guest room in the front. And in this particular case, they fashioned it with double bunks. I guess they are expecting younger visitors. And there is a, uh, a walk-in closet, a small walk-in closet. You can see the staircase. This home does have the upper, and we will look at that after we're done with the main level. Right here next to the staircase would be the garage. And again, it's a two-car garage. Uh, you can tell by the metal staircase, I believe, it means that they've flushed out the storage above the garage. So probably the entire space up there is storage capable. And it looks to me like they've extended the front of this garage probably four feet. One of the structural options that culture offers. The next room coming down the main living area. On the right hand side is the flex room and you can see by the French doors that they've turned this into an office for study. Now taking a look at the main living area. You've got a great big great room towards the back. Your dining area here, this table is set up for six. Your nice high ceiling, look at the size of this tray. The beams, I'm sure, are not standard, but the tray would be. And then you've got your kitchen here. Good sized kitchen island. Right now it's set up with three at the breakfast overhang. A number of cabinets. One thing I'll point out is because of an option that's in this home, there are no cabinets right in this space but the standard would be to have cabinets along here. So I'll point that out a little bit later as we see that option I'm referring to. And a very healthy size walk-in pantry. So a good size patio out back. I can tell already that they've got a four foot extension on this patio. That's one of the structural options that Coulter offers is to extend not only the garage forward as, as we saw, but also the, the back of the property can be extended four feet. And in this case, they've done that. And I'm gonna take a quick look back at the great room so you can get a sense of feel. Let's take a look at the owner suite. That's a nice size king bed. Again, the nice high ceilings. Wonderful millwork up there. I'm sure that's not available 
uh, as a standard, perhaps not even available in the custom in the design room. Good size room because the patio we saw was extended four feet, it means that this back wall has also been pushed out four feet. So that's one of the structural options. Again, that culture offers with all of their properties towards the back property. Here is the owner's bath. I'm kind of liking that tile on the floor. Nice size shower and this separate vanities. So the larger one is here and that one is also a pretty good size. You've got your toilet here. And let's have a look at this closet. Most closets I'm sure don't have wood flooring. Um, of course, this is a model, so bear that in mind. It's a nice size L-shaped room. So it's plenty big. Now one of the options that I really dig about the Madison that I'll point out here is that from this closet, you can walk directly into your laundry room. Look at the size of this laundry room, it's enormous. And what I was mentioning in the kitchen about there being an empty space for cabinets is because of this option basically takes up the space that would be for those cabinets. So without this option, you'll have those cabinets. With this option, you will not have cabinets in that part of the kitchen. Now let's leave the laundry room. Another bedroom right here. That's a nice size queen and it's, you can see it's an ensuite. So it's got its own full bath. And a good size reach-in closet. One thing I don't think I've pointed out, look at the size of these doors. All the doors in these homes are eight foot. The ceilings are at least 10 foot, depending on where you are. Now, let's take a look at upstairs and see if we can figure out where that incessant beeping is coming from. Pretty steep staircase, so be prepared for that. If you're gonna go with the bonus, the upstairs, for any of these culture homes, because your first level is so tall, you're gonna have a lot of stairs to get up to the second level. <laughs> and in this case, they've added a wall. They've actually made this into a bonus room. So you do have privacy if you close this door. Some people put beds up here. I kind of like a little wet bar. <laughs> um, and here is a walk-in closet. Good size walk-in closet, some unfinished storage, I'm sure, behind that door, as well as your full bath. Wow, this arrangement upstairs is kind of nice. Once again, let's take a look at this bonus room. This is one of the options that Coulter offers. So what do you think of the Madison? It's a very nice floor plan, isn't it? Me, personally, my favorite option is the walk-through from the master closet to the laundry room. I think that's great. I love those kind of things. Uh, if you'd like to check out the, the Madison, please give me a call. I'm at 704-957-2232. Again, it's Albert Alvarez with the Ally Group here in Charlotte. Uh, Crestman Wilson Chapel, I should say, is selling very quickly. So the models have opened. They've recently released some lots, as well as some quick moving homes, and they are all being snapped up, and that's just the way it is. There's a lot to, to be desired about this community. I'd love to show you this floor plan or any of the other models that are available here. Give me a call as soon as possible and we'll go through it. I am again at 704-957-2232. If you have any questions about the community, you can also find more information at our website, charlotteactiveadults.com. You'll have access to other 55 plus communities as well. Please feel free to reach out as soon as possible. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. 